Welcome to this Google Apps screencast where I'm going to show you how to share a folder in Google Drive to a Google group. So prior to now I've created a Google group for my class as a teacher and now in Google Drive I went to create folder and I made a folder down here I called it Kafka New Media Files naming it with the teacher name followed by the class followed by files and I have put a few, a few files in here that I want to share to my students. So the best way to do this is to share the folder to your students. You can do this by right clicking on the folder or by coming to the little arrow and choosing share. Either way will get you to the share menu. In the add people box, if it's been 24 hours since the Google group was created, you can probably start typing the name of the group and you'll see the group come up. If it hasn't been 24 hours yet and the group doesn't show up for you, or the group doesn't show up for you, you can actually manually type out the whole group name. So I happen to know that the group I want to share this to is fp-kafka-newmedia 8th grade at franklinpublicschools.org. I'm going to double check and make sure I've got that all correct. This folder, I want to just give view rights to my students. I'm going to put things in here like class notes or uh, templates or rubrics for students to follow. And this is very important. Make sure that notify people via email is checked and type a little message to your students saying here is the folder of files I will be sharing with you for the term or semester or year whatever you want to say. Uh, you can check this box to send a copy to yourself if you want to see what the students see. I'm going to go ahead and click share and save and once that saves you should see the icon that represents the group should be a th little three uh, people silhouette there. Uh, if everything worked out, that means that now anybody that's part of this group automatically got that email and got the folder shared to them as well. So let's go over to the student side and take a look at what that looks like. And feel free, you can use this video in your classroom to show students what to do when they receive a shared folder. So I'm, I'm in as a student right now. I'm signed in as fake.student. And I'm going to go to Google Drive. The place that a shared folder shows up when it's shared to a person that's part of a Google group is under the All Items area. So I'll make this a little bigger here. So students could go to All Items. And alphabetically, I happen to know that that starts with a K. So I'll jump down to the Ks. Or I could do my search at the top. So let's take a look here in the Ks and see if we see the file or the folder rather, the folder is right here, Kafka New Media Files. To make things easy, I would suggest that the students check the folder, come up to Organize, and then check that you want it to appear in My Drive. That way it'll appear in the student's My Drive just like these other folders do, and the students can quickly get to your files throughout your time together. If you can't, for whatever reason, find the file, the fail-safe way of making sure you know where that, that folder is, is have the students check their email, go to their inbox in Gmail, and here it looks like is a message. It says, I've shared an item with you. Here's the message that the teacher wrote. I can click this link. This will take me to the folder, and this will show me the folder view where it shows me the files that are in the folder. It shows me little snapshots here down, down the main area of the page, and the student's already signed in. The student can click this folder to save this to my drive as well. So you can click on my drive and save the folder to my drive there as well. So what that should do is when the student saves it to my drive it'll show up here and students can quickly get to your files. So that's how you share to a Google group and as a student that's how you can organize a folder as part of your Google Drive area. Thanks for watching.